How reflective do you think that LSAT scores are as far as how well you're going to do in law school? Do you think that that really is a good um, marker as to how well you're going to perform in law school? I think, I think it is. I mean, it, it, obviously it's not destiny. If you got a low LSAT score, you could still do fine in law school, but there is a strong correlation that the data supports it. And I think it's because the skills the LSAT is testing relate pretty closely to what law school is like. I mean, the LSAT has a lot of reading. It has advanced vocabulary. It has boring topics makes you kind of juggle all these different factors in your mind at once. And then, I mean, you could speak to this better than I can, but I think this all relates very closely to what you're actually doing in law school. And so, of course, the LSAT's hard. It's timed and requires a lot of preparation. But I think also law school is hard. You, you have exams and they require a lot of preparation as well. So I think that mm -hmm. does relate. And of course, you could say, well, I didn't have enough time to study for the LSAT. But if you don't have enough time to st study for the LSAT, how are you going to have the time for law school? So I think it's a question of making a priority and just committing to the process. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.